You guys better make sure that you're watching the entire video. Quiet. Are you wondering why I was raising my voice? Well, that's because we're going to talk about the different ways you raise your voice. Because raising your voice again can be in a positive note as well as in a negative note. Say when you talk about a positive way of raising your voice, it's cheering. So the first word is cheering. So when you're cheering, you're appreciating someone, you're encouraging like say your favorite band or so, and that is a positive way of raising your voice. But at the same time when you talk about some negative ways of raising your voice, one can be yelling. So the second word for today is yelling. Now when you yell you're raising your voice because you're angry and you know you're just uh, you're taking out all that anger on someone and you're yelling you're screaming. So that is when you say somebody is yelling like how I was doing in the beginning of the video. And then we have scream. Screaming can be when you're angry. Sometimes it's it's mostly used when you're petrified and you know you're really frightened and you scream. Say you're seeing uh, you're watching some horror movies and then you raise your voice, you're screaming. That is screaming. The next one is bellow. Bellow is to shout in a loud, deep voice, like how teachers say. You know, you might have uh, come across a situation where your teachers are like, "Quiet." Just you know, they just use one word, but then you know, it'll be a, a shouting on its own. And that is when you say she bellowed. And then we have cry, like uh, when somebody is crying for help. You know, that's a kind of raising your voice, right? Like they're raising your uh, raising their voice, and that is when you say cry. Cry is a type of raising your voice. So that was it. I'll just summarize the words for you guys: yell, cry, then scream, um, then cheer, bellow. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to know more about the courses that we provide at English House, don't forget to click on the link below. Thank you. English House. English at your fingertips.